So, Emma Chow, great to see you. Great to see you too. So, what's, what are you up to? What are you doing? What am I up to? What's your life about? My life is all about, at the moment, exploring how to activate the potential at that inflection point between the inner world transformation and outer world transformation. Because from my experience, having led a global food system transformation system and working with big corporates, going through my own burnout and realizing that it all starts within and realigning with ourselves, with our own humanity and true nature. Um, that's really what I'm sharing at the mm. moment with others, especially in this space. We're working towards regenerative futures, helping them self-regenerate. It's interesting, you, you talk, use the word self-regenerate and one of the insights that we have is this sense that we're at, some people call it an iPhone moment in a way, this big transition where we're going to shift from this industrial global chemical supply chains with faceless food to something much more grounded, much more local, much more um, direct connection of people to food and the journey that it goes on to become food from the, from the soil. And in all of that, um, there's been a lot of focus on the, on the nature side of it, but it sounds like the piece that you're, you're touching on is, the, is the, the dimension of how we change as people, as human beings, in, as we move into that future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not even, what gives me hope is not even feeling like we need to go chase something new, but it's more a process of remembering. Okay. That's what I think of. And, and someone once said to me, like, remembering, you break that up into remembering. Yeah, re Remembering. What is remembering? It's remembering the parts of ourselves as human beings that are not buying into this delusion that we're separate from nature and we need to go fix nature and do everything that you were just talking about, be faceless and be working at this global scale, when in reality we are just like every other living creature part of these living systems. So it's remembering that natural intelligence that we have to be part of, of these systems. And they are inherently bioregional and locally connected and place-based. Like that is at our core and that's what all of our ancestors and indigenous peoples around the world, how they're living today, is so deeply attached to and connected with the land that they're standing on and all of the nature around them that they don't see as resources like that is a relationship of reciprocity it's that like they're constantly part of, it, part of it rather than nature something out there that we yes, go visit it's not something go to go do. use it's like constantly every it's moment us. of the day having that relationship alive yeah and yeah. um, when you, I mean, you just you just ran a, med, what would you call it, a, a meditation yeah, session? Yeah, like an embodiment morning? session, um, dropping out of the head into the body. Yeah, I mean, here we are, Grandpa, six thousand people in the farming industry. You know, not most people wouldn't automatically assume that that kind of arena would be. You know, those two things would go together, but they do. Yeah. It might not seem like it makes sense at first, but then when we think about it, like, well, yeah. yeah, of course. Of course, because it's our mindset, right? For a farmer to shift from, and us collectively, to shift from these conventional, extractive, degrading ways of seeing and treating the land, of producing our food, making it, eating it, to a regenerative model that's actually working with nature rather than against it, that's a paradigm shift in our what I call our operating system which is hinging on our mind and what level of the mind we are seeing the world from and essentially being mm. from it's it's really interesting because it's a landscape of language that um, for many people is is new to wrestle with mm. and, and Are you finding that it's it's an open door or you're having to push through it or it's a cracked open door right it's a cracked open door and 
last year I went on my own journey. I was in Latin America and I was doing my own self-regeneration. And I just kept receiving this emerging desire and vi like visions that I could see of, of offering things like I did earlier today. And probably me two years ago would have said, oh no, that's too scary, right? We're too far away from that. It won't be received, it won't be relatable. But then I returned to England in October and what gave me a sense of, oh, the readiness is there. Well, it's still early and very much emergent. The readiness is there is that even the UN launched the Conscious Food Systems Alliance, which is all about saying, hey, we're at this precipice. We're clearly just operating from the rational mind and trying to use technology and write reports on all the issues is not enough. Mm. Like they have now put, the UN has put in a report saying we need to have an upgrade in their consciousness. Isn't that incredible? I mean, just yeah, think about it. That, and it looks like a the classic UN, UN about report. Consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> but it's there, and that's now a global community of practitioners and people working in food, everything from the grassroots to the multinationals. Yeah. And yes, it's a small group, probably relatively, but it's there. And similarly, the inner development goals, which is saying to reach the SDGs, we have to do the inner work. So the SDGs is the, you know, these, how many are there? 19, 17, I lose track. Um, sustainable development goals, end poverty, um, fresh water, whatever, etc. Education, it, yeah. all of those things. And so the IDGs is the inner development goals. I think it's fascinating. Yeah, it's how do we develop those inner capacities and inner resourcing. Yeah. That we can't just try and blindly chase these outer goals without working hand in hand on the inner capacity. And they, and they go side by side, like Carol Sanford, I think it was in her Regenerative Life book, she talks about that, where we can't buy into this myth of until I fix myself, heal myself, then I'm able to go help fix the world. It's yeah. actually these, this inner system change and outer system change best works when it's happening side by side and it's actually a positive feedback loop. Almost like two sides of one coin. It, yeah. It's, it's but Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so when you look like 20 years into the future and you dream about what might become possible, not only for you personally, but you know, in this world of food and mm. systems that we're working with, what do you see? A massive shift or evolution rather in, in our food culture. Hmm. which is a byproduct of a broader shift in our reconnection as part of nature. Hmm. Like I think it is inherent. That's really, really interesting. So you use this, that phrase is really important. Reconnection as part of nature. Yeah. It's not reconnect to nature because that's something, if, if it's articulated that way, that means it's something out there. Yes. Whereas if we're reconnection as part of nature. And if that, if that is true, then it means, and this is part of my vision, that we are in relationship with nature as a participant rather than as a command and controller. Yeah. And yeah. so the whole, like, we would see a much more thriving landscape for sure, but we'd also see a different tone in our social fabric as well, which food is so inherently part of. Mm. Food is embedded in our social culture as it always has been. It's like now we live in a culture where for some reason we've gotten to the point where so many meals are eaten alone and we eat food without even thinking or knowing its story. And I just hope that 20 years from now, whoever you are, whether you're living on a farm or living in a city, you're much more deeply connected. We're all more deeply connected with every food or drink that we're bringing into our body and the valuing the people and places behind it in ways that we're so distant from today. I love it. Thank you. Thank you.